as far as our universe, we're the only inhabited planet. Why, why would we think that? Because I've had conversations with God about it. I'm not saying that there aren't other beings. Um, I'm not saying some of the other beings have not come through other constellational portals in the cosmos. I'm just saying they're dimensional and not actually of this physical universe as we know it. Because I believe that was our role as sonships to populate this universe with increasing government and peace. Um, so, you know, when I when you talk about UFOs and aliens and all this sort of stuff, yeah, anything that's not of this planet is an alien. I just don't think they were actually formed on a planet in this universe, but in other dimensions. That's that's my experience. I've never I've been to a lot of these uh, portals out in the cosmos, out in the different constellations. And there are beings that are infiltrated there, but I, but they weren't originally from there. And though I know a lot of people say, oh, there's beings coming from Sirius and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, there's Michael Tellinger's sort of ancient alien stuff. I don't believe that they are actual beings from another planet. I, the Watcher Angels who did come to Earth and they did, you know, trade for human DNA with knowledge, um, different things. They were angels. They were they were aliens. They're not they're not human, and they they weren't created on this planet. So they're aliens in one sense, but they're not. They're of a spiritual dimension that can take physical form. Um, I don't believe that they're from another planet or something. So the dimensional beings that have infiltrated and been on other planets, that kind of thing. Uh, are you saying none of them have actually? populated these other planets and stayed on them i don't know what i've seen is some staging posts or posts or pl places for an extension into our dimension which is not for good you know now that that's the thing they're not they don't have good intentions and what they have done when they've come through different gateways to affect our planet has not been good and I think, you know, all the abduction stories, I'm not saying all of them are true necessarily, but there are some that are true, without a doubt. And I think that is, again, a desire for <laughs> other beings influenced by Lucifer, effectively, who wants to control sonship. And he wants an inheritance as sons and therefore genetically try to create hybridized beings that would have an inheritance as sons. Well, they don't, you know. Um, and that goes back, obviously, to Genesis 6, and and it's happened a number of times where there has been external influence tried to influence the cultures of the earth. Sumerian culture received external influence. Other cultures had visitation, let's say, from an external sources. I don't believe that they're my personal opinion. I may be wrong, and I'm not hard and fast about it. I just have no personal experience. Mm -hmm. The experience I do have is of dimensional beings that have accessed through portals in certain constellations that have some nefarious goals that we are shielding the Earth from. That's what the Earth Shield is was primarily originally about, to ensure that they would not have negative influence on the Earth in the process of the enlightenment that God was bringing about on the Earth. Uh, uh, and it's quite difficult because... They are they are beings, yeah, and they are beings that have various forms, you know. And it's like, you know, does it really matter? Well, I guess not really. In one sense, <laughs> you know, <laughs> does it matter where they come from? You know, well, let's. The purpose is where they're going to end up, you know, and how we how can we help them be restored and help them back to their original purpose? And I do believe that the dimensions were created for us to bring about the influence of sonship that would reveal their identity and purpose. And I don't think they have an identity and purpose independent of us and our relationship, which is why they've taken their purpose from us. And they've taken it from the Tower of Babel and they all have Tower of Babels on their planets and on their, in their, it's difficult to say planet because I can't say I've seen it as a planet, but in their societies, whichever way their dimensions work and i'm not saying there are universes in their dimensions 
That's not what I've seen. What I've seen is societies who were procreated societies, not created societies like angels. Angels are created in orders indi and all individually in order as a function. These dimensions are procreating. They are beings that have started somewhere. But I do believe our sonship was, was part of their progression into the, knowing their identity because it's linked to ours. But it's been linked to the worst of ours. And therefore, those societies are horrendous, the ones I've been to, and desperately need truth and love to bring about the true sense of what sonship will do in restoring them to their proper identity and purpose. Hence, they are connected to 12 ages of man and therefore operate, some of them in a highly more advanced stage because time does not operate the same within dimensions, it's relative. And therefore there are some dimensions that are operating in ages of man that we're not yet there yet, that are living in the influence of that because time functions differently. It's weird stuff. And there are wheels within wheels and the 12 ambassadors of the ages that are connected to all this, which you know I've not sort of delved into much recently. So I've been focusing on other stuff. You don't think there are actually sons beyond just we that are part of this planet? It only depends really on how broad a term that is. Does anyone have DNA made in the image of God like us? No, I don't think so. But that doesn't mean that they're not children of God and they're not created by God and God, you know, and it has a purpose for them and a relationship for them and relationship with us in union and oneness of all creation. So I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to hard and fast define the beings that I've seen that weren't fallen had a very clear desire to help us help the beings that had fallen. They wanted to help and serve us in what we were doing, which I think, and I'm not talking about servitude, but cooperation, you know, it's a cooperation with them. We're not the master race, you know, it's like, yeah, we are, we are here to represent unconditional love and to bring people into that revelation as well. You know, not there to dominate the universe. Is I'm not going to go planting flags on all the planets and start claiming ownership and mineral rights or whatever. You know, that that's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil stuff. We, you know, we really don't want that. But there is so much more, you know, I think, that is becoming unveiled and revealed. And, you know, the experiences you had, you know, find out more about it. Let me know what you find out, you know, because, you know, there's there's way, way more than I know. Um, or probably I'm um, designed to know in one sense, you know, but learning from other people is all part of the, the journey, you know, that we want people to go further than we have. And we want to learn from those who've gone in different directions than we have, because then we don't have to go and do it all ourselves, which is, you know, I think part of the fact that we're all needing each other. Mm -hmm.